So I'm gonna make potatoes for my kids today. I'm gonna use my pressure cooker. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and hopefully give you some tips on how to use a pressure cooker. Now I had never used a pressure cooker before, um, just a couple years ago. And then we bought this. This is my stainless steel pressure cooker. If you put your vegetables in it and you use it for cooking dinner instead of for canning, because this one's quite small, you can't fit any jars in it. Um, when you use it for cooking like this, you're going to want to get a stainless steel one. Uh, that way you don't get any aluminum in your food while you're cooking. So what I do first is I wash my potatoes and then I put them in and I'll show you the amount of water I do. You can hardly even see it. So just a couple of inches of water because basically what they're doing, the potatoes are being steam cooked. I use this thing for rice all the time and I use it for, what else do I use it for? I've used it for a lot of different things. I put a whole bunch of vegetables in here and actually it works so well I don't use it to cook broccoli because it gets too squishy. Now the kind I have is a Presto and you line up these two arrows and then you slide it shut and you try to make sure there's nothing in the way of the lock mechanism and then we just put it on the stove. So you turn it up high and then you wait for the pressure to build up. When the pressure builds up, this weight will start rocking back and forth. When it's rocking real rapidly like this, that's when you're going to turn it down and I'll show you that when I come to it. Okay, so it's been on for, for a little bit and the pressure lock is locked but the weight is not rocking so I'm going to go ahead and keep waiting until that starts to rock. So now it's rocking pretty good. Um, it could get a little faster than this but I am going to go ahead and turn it down because with potatoes I don't really want them very squishy. If I was going to do mashed potatoes I think I would want it and wait a little bit longer, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. Basically, we're just boiling the potatoes at this point. They're, they cook really fast. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And what I do is I let off the pressure. I take that off. You be careful. You don't want to get burnt by the steam. But all that does is let my potatoes cool down fast enough so that I'm going to be able to get them prepared faster. Because it'll still keep cooking um, if you leave that, that thing on. So anyway, so I'm when that pressure's off all the way, I'll show you what my potatoes look like and uh, finish getting the rest of the meal ready. Should we cut that up, honey? Uh-huh, and so the kids, so all the people the Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did Daddy buy that for us? That's going to be so yummy. Yeah, and then it's, and then we're going to grow some, you know, healthy um, watermelon to eat. Yep, that's right. But this is not healthy, but we're just going to eat it, and then we're going to have sugary stuff in our body, and then we're going to bread our teeth That'll help. eat some <coughs> healthy watermelon that is in our garden when it grows super big and then we will pinch it off. Yep. That'll be so yummy. Yeah. Okay, the pressure's all come off and you can tell when this little nipple goes down and then you're going to be able to open it. Otherwise it stays locked. When the pressure pushes that up, then you can't open the lid. So, here we go. Okay, those look great. Yep. Perfect. Oh, I'm steaming the lens up. So, uh, sometimes I I save some of them and I use them for hash browns in the morning. Easiest, best be breakfast ever. Sometimes we'll make egg and sausage hash. Other times I will use all of it up and we'll make kind of like a, what do you call it when you cook your food outside with coals. <laughs>
don't remember what it's called. What's it called, Everett? Dutch oven. <laughs> So like when you make Dutch oven potatoes, you put cheese all over them. Sometimes I'll prepare them in that way. It's okay if, if she touches the mud. But she's trying to push it off. Oh, yeah. Don't push it off, okay, sweetie? So sometimes I'll end up cooking a bunch of bacon with some onions. And uh, then we'll stir it together after we chop up all the potatoes. Basically, it gets you dinner within like 10 to 15 minutes. And that's, that's what I love about using the pressure cooker. Do you want some cheese? Yeah? You want a spoon? Want me to get you a spoon? Okay, let's go get a spoon. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Did you know that spoons are the most best thing you can eat with? So we love putting ranch on these potatoes. Today I'm not going to cook up any bacon and onions today because I'm just too lazy. I want food now and my kids are hungry. So I'm going to take Lizzie's ranch recipe and I'll link that. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> um, and we're going to put this on our potatoes with some salt and cheese and it's going to be yummy. you enjoyed that if you had been hesitant to try a pressure cooker um, go ahead and try one they're actually not that scary or that big of a deal um, I was really surprised when I started using one how simple it was it always seemed like it was such a complicated way to cook my food and I avoided them for a long time but hopefully now that you've seen how to use them you can understand and see how really truly easy they are see you guys Mm-hmm.